Welcome back to Giles Gate Primary School boys and girls. We've been absent for nearly two months now and from the 1st of June we're going to be reopening for some of groups of children in our school. What I'd like to do is to show you around so you can see what our school is going to look like because it's going to be a little bit different inside when you come back. First of all, here I am at the school gates and it's really important that when you come back to school with your mum or your dad or your carer that you come through the school gates and that you keep your distance from the other boys and girls and the other mums and dads coming back to school. To keep everybody in school safe we're still going to have to observe social distancing rules and try and keep two metres apart from each other. Let's go and have a look at what's happening inside. Each group coming back to school will be called a pod and in each pod there'll be around about eight or nine children. The first group coming back will be from year one. So what I'm going to do is show you what will happen for a typical pod returning to school. Each pod will have a designated entry point. This pod is going to come in through the year one doors beside Mr. Wallace. And Mr. Wallace will be their class teacher. Miss McGrath will be assisting and helping out at break times and play times. Do you want to say hi guys? Hi year one. You'll see that along the floor we have marked out two metre intervals for every child and their parent so that we can maintain social distancing while each pod arrives at school ready to go in. This pod will line up here and they'll be going in through the door where Mr Wallace is standing. If as a parent you need to come and see somebody in the office, we've again got two metre intervals marked out on the floor. We're operating a one in, one out of the entrance lobby system. So what you would do is you'd come to the line on the floor, stand and wait, you'd be able to see through the glass door if anybody's in. If they're not, you'd be able to ring the bell and someone will let you into school. If there is, please wait here until the person inside's left and then you'll be able to have your turn. Once you come into the school, everybody will go and wash their hands and that will happen regularly throughout the day. Then when we come into class, each child will have their own desk, two metres apart from any other desk. They will also have a tray with all the things that they will need for the day, pens, pencils, anything like that. So they don't need to borrow anybody else's resources. And please remember, before you come into school, make sure that your child has a water bottle with their name on it so that they can use that throughout the day. We won't be able to give cups out. At break time and lunch time, the children will be coming out onto the yard with me and we'll be um, observing social distance. We'll be playing some games, but it'll be unlike the break times and lunch times that we had before when the children were all running about. Um, they will be uh, social distancing. And at break time and lunch time, I'll be um, supervising with the children and uh, they'll be having their lunch here in the classroom at their desk. Toileting will be very different as well because we have to operate a one in, one out toilet system in order to ensure that we have hygiene and that children are washing their hands properly as well. So I've got Mr Wallace and Miss McGrath helping me here. Imagine I'm just coming out of the toilets here and Mr Wallace is ready on the white line, ready to go in when I've finished. This means I can leave without being in close proximity to him and I can re-enter the classroom without being in pro close proximity to Miss McGrath and when Mr Wallace enters his toilet, Miss McGrath can move down onto the line here. Let's see how that works in practice. I'm going to tell you about some of the other things that we're doing in order to keep the school and the children safe. 
One of the things that all the teachers will be doing, including myself, and which we expect all the boys and girls to do, is to come to school every day wearing a clean set of clothes. I've got my suit on today, it's the first time I've worn it for two months, but every time you see me in school, I will be wearing a clean set of clothes. Now, we're aware that parents will not have enough uniform to put their child in clean uniform every day. That's okay. We were going to relax the school uniform rules. As long as your child comes to school wearing clean clothes every day, that will help us keep on top of any viral transmission. They don't have to wear school uniform, but please remember school rules, no makeup, no earrings, sensible shoes. Hi everyone, having spoken to you during the school closure, I'm very aware that a lot of you are very anxious about children returning to school. As a school, we are working to build your confidence and therefore have taken a measured and phased approach to children returning. If you would like to speak to me further about this, please do not hesitate to phone me. If as a parent you've already decided that your child is not going to come back on the 1st of June and you've told us that, but at a later date you change your mind because you do think they will be safe here, you need to let us know so that we can make arrangements for your child to join a new pod and have a new starting date. From the 1st of June we'll be bringing back children from year one. The week following that we'll be bringing children back from reception and hopefully more from year one and then looking at bringing in children from year six and nursery as well. Be great to see everybody back at school, the teachers have missed you and we're really, really, really looking forward to working with you again in a way that's going to be slightly different but we're going to keep you safe and we want you to keep on learning. See you in June!